Hey everybody, it's Steven South Jersey. Before we get this party started, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell. Comment below. Let me know you subscribe. That way I can get back to you as soon as I can. Every now and then, my viewers and subscribers, they uh, suggest places I need to check out. And one such place is a Rite Aid, or was a Rite Aid before that was a uh, Eckerd in Blackwood, New Jersey. I've been here before, but I haven't been back since the place closed. Yes, it's, it is closed. Oh my goodness, it is closed. And, you know, unlike a uh, certain uh, uh, fast food establishment that shall remain nameless, that's known for their oven mitt or something, I can tell you, this is definitely closed. Let the cars in the parking lot fool you. People park here because, well, parking is at a premium uh, when uh, you have so many uh, buildings downtown here in Gloucester Township. But, yep, you remember this particular uh, Rite Aid. The sign used to be up there. Of course, it is no more. You can see, uh, look closely, you see the label scar from the oval pill-shaped Eckerd sign, which, again, is no more. And uh, you remember I walked into this particular location. And wait a minute. This right is close to so go to Walgreens. <laughs> I don't know if we can see anything. What do you think? So, again, I need to get a selfie stick. Hashtag sleeve needs a selfie stick. Well, there you go. Let's see how much of it is still there. It's a little bit of a stretch, but at least I'm alternating arms. Seems the lights are still on. And I'm going to review the footage, but it seems to me I wouldn't be surprised if it's still largely intact. Yeah, we never want it to outside the building much when we uh, toured this uh, particular location back in October and uh, but yeah this is um, uh, in great shape so I've been closed for a few months <laughs> and surprising I mean I guess this was one of the what, 145 locations that Rite Aid said they were going to shut down because they weren't up to snuff. You have a sign here, of course, and you have people who live in the neighborhood use this for extra parking. And uh, <laughs> it still looks in good shape. The vandals haven't gotten to it yet. Oh, by the way. Remember that uh, shell in Turnersville where I uh, still got power, of course, where I was able to open the front door to the food mart but didn't stick around, thankfully, because uh, we found out later the cops showed up. <clears throat> well, looks like the vandals have gotten to that one, folks. By the way, this is, uh, I want to say something about vandalism. It is stupid and don't do it. If you want to destroy something, own it, and then you can get it But uh, I'm going to try to get a good thumbnail picture for my uh, video here. And then we can get back to the car. So let's uh, see what we can see here. <clears throat> Again, with uh, cars in the parking lot here, you, can, you would think it was open, but... Uh, Unlike a certain establishment I refuse to mention in this video, 
you can clearly tell that this place is closed. So let's get a, uh... alright. Or maybe I should go a little further back, what do you think? Ooh. Well, that had a little off-roading incident, I guess. Try to get a good, uh... I think that looks better, what do you think? All right, well, that'll do for me. I'll yeah, go to the about do it for me on this video, folks. Again, if you like what you see, like what we're doing here on the channel, like, share, subscribe, comment, ring the bell, tell a friend. Uh, have a great day out there, and I will see you on the next video. I can't believe I got in this place.